Hey guys, it's Tori. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about my freshman year experience at NYU and just kind of giving my advice um, and things that I wish I would have known when I was coming into my freshman year here. So this stuff can also apply pretty much to other schools, but some of the stuff is very specific to NYU, obviously, because that's where I had my experience. But before we get into it, don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. And let's get into it. So I'm going to start off with saying NYU's freshman year experience is not like other schools, I would say. Um, we don't have a campus necessarily. The closest thing to it would be like Washington Square Park, but obviously that's a public park. The thing with NYU is we have this thing called Welcome Week. A lot of other people have it too, but ours we have events pretty much every day. I personally went to a lot of the events and I really enjoyed going. Some advice I would give going into freshman year pretty much anywhere. I would say, but especially at schools like NYU, where there isn't necessarily a campus where you have to be on, it's a pretty big school, but have to be open and forward with making friends. I thought I was like a pretty decently social person in high school, but when I got here, I realized that I really had to be outgoing and had to be like straightforward with asking, asking people to hang out with me, asking people to go places with me and talking to everyone. The thing about it is everyone is in the same boat. Everyone's here their freshman year. Everyone's trying to make friends. So you really have to try hard to reach out to people. Everybody says you have to be open to meeting people, but you really, really have to, you know, try. But the, that first week and the first week of classes as well is really like the crucial time to start getting to know people and start like at least having contacts. Freshman year, I honestly wish I worked harder at making more friends, just trying to get different connections so that, you know, you're not lonely because in New York, it may seem like it is one of the most dense places, but it can feel really lonely, um, which everyone goes through. It's not a big deal. Everyone goes through that. I've been through my fair share of feeling lonely, but an easy way to fix it is just reaching out to people because other people shockingly feel the same way and i had to learn personally is to really put myself out there even more than i have before and i would say now i'm like so much more outgoing of a person and i'm so much better at talking to new people because of it because i tried so hard to do that so socially i would say go to all the events that you can go to things that interest you even if it's only a little bit stay busy try and keep really busy because you know you don't want to be sitting around and also it's just more of a chance to meet people i would say if someone asks you to do something do it you know go out with them go hang out with them um i was really good friends with everyone on my floor my first year um i was very lucky i lived on an exploratory floor so it, we did things together but for some reason there are just a lot of people on there because um, it was a comedy floor, so there were a lot of people on there that I really liked and I'm still friends with to this day And I can reach out and be like, hey, what's up? Let's go hang out like so this one really applies to Like pretty much. I don't know if it applies to other city schools, but definitely at NYU Who girl you the social scene is very heavily bars clubs Things like that it's not there's no one has a house so it's, I would say it's mostly you know that kind of scene going out um, and not as much like house parties or apartment parties there are some but you know it's definitely more bars clubs things like that so I don't even know how to say this without being bad but like if you're under 21 um, you know there are things you can do to get in there and I think that's important. I personally didn't have those methods so uh, I was kind of at a loss for going out my first semester. Like when I first started going to bars and stuff I was scared. The worst thing that happens is you know I've seen bouncers take people's IDs and say this is fake you can't come in and sometimes they give it back and sometimes they snap it but you know what 
everyone says it's gonna be a transition and it is um, don't be afraid I took some classes freshman year that I thought I was not gonna be interested in at all like really my like first choice but after I got into them I really liked them don't be afraid you know I had some really hard professors my freshman year I had my hardest professor freshman year and I'm so glad I took that class go to your classes obviously everyone says that but like I mean it if you go to your classes you're so tired and you don't even take any notes that's better than sitting at home my classes um, because of the school I'm in are pretty small so all of my professors knew me I knew all my professors and I made sure to at least raise my hand once in class every day or you know at least try to do that because then if I had an off day where I really did not want to talk I could like I had room in my participation points to not have to talk that day my involvement and because of my willingness to like be involved in the class I really do think they were a little bit easier on my grading not I'm there even if you know maybe I'm not taking detailed notes every single class at least I'm, I'm showing up and I'm hearing the information I think it's really important that you balance schoolwork and social life obviously everyone says that but it's really easy to get shelled up in your dorm just doing stuff and denying people to go out personally I had an issue with that I would mainly just study I'd stay in my room and read like I said I had a really hard class freshman year and I ended up getting a good grade in it you know I put that before everything else and because of that I kind of suffered socially a little bit I've discovered now that the way that works best for me is to schedule a time to do work during the day um, if I'm not being productive while I'm sitting there I get up and I leave my place and I go get a smoothie, I go get a coffee or I just go on a walk and then I come back and then making sure you make time to be social and you make time to go out and be happy and meet friends because it really is about saving your mental health on campus. Oh, there's my cat. There's Stella. Okay. You are your number one priority while you're at school and you know, grades are very important to me at least, I had to learn the hard way that you really need to put yourself first and you need to make sure the space you're living in is healthy. And that leads me into roommates. So I myself um, have had my fair share of crazy roommates. And when I say crazy, I'm actually not exaggerating. I've had, you know, some bad experience. You really need to make sure that the space you're living in is healthy I would not sleep I would not you know I could not be in my room without being stressed I would cry in the stairwell all the time sitting there and have a breakdown because the space I was living in was so unhealthy and tension filled and stressful and everything and so I really I tried to get out at some point and it's it's harder than you think so I would say if you're feeling off with a roommate, with the situation you're living in, you need to take care of it first and foremost. That is the most important space. That is your safe space and call whoever you need to to get it taken care of. And you know, they're gonna tell you, you need to work it out between the two of you first. And you do, you can try, but there's only so much that you two can handle. I don't even, two, it can be more than two people, but. I would say please please take care of it quickly other just like miscellaneous things like you're not gonna wear everything you bring it doesn't really matter what dorm you are in it doesn't really matter that much some dorms may seem far um, in reality they're not but definitely freshman year I thought they were really far um, so you know it's just it's kind of a matter of perspective now I live much further I really think that all the dorms at NYU are gonna be fine. Personally, I lived in Weinstein my freshman year and I would never do that to, I would never tell anyone to live there. <laughs> I would never tell anyone to choose Weinstein. It is, I, we had a mouse infestation when I was in there and I was on the ninth floor. So yeah, I don't know. I would not recommend it I would say <laughs> but I do know a lot of people from living in there I think like when you all suffer together like 
when you all suffer together you get really bonded per se so i don't want to make this video too long because i feel like it could get really boring and meticulous just because you know looking back i'm like wow i could have changed a lot of things but i hope this video helped you guys get ready for your freshman year wherever you are going whether you're going to a city school or a state school or i don't know you're not going to school and you're just watching this for fun as if you're going to nyu awesome i will see you probably around campus maybe not thank you guys so much for watching this if you did like it please give it a thumbs up and I am curious, let me guys, let me know if you're going to NYU, what school you're in, what major you're in right now. And if you're not, let me know where you're going. I'd love to hear from that. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Yeah.